Coming off the rack, I'm Sal. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. Today we're going to talk about Superman number 18. Very, very quickly, just give you our thoughts on the issue. It's written, of course, by Peter J. Tomasi and Patrick Leeson with art by Mick Gray. It's part one of a new story arc in the Superman franchise. It's actually going to bleed into action comics. So uh, let's give you our thoughts and recommendations for books that are coming out this week on Wednesday. Yeah. So, I enjoyed Superman number 18. I thought it was a fun read. Um, I'm definitely interested to see where this goes, so I recommend that you pick it up. Also, for my recommendations this week, I'm going to be recommending Flash number 18 because you've got uh, Wally West and Kid Flash breaking into a jail. Uh, Belle Reeve, I think, prison? And, oh my god, I want to see that. I want to see how they can get in quickly and quietly because something the Flash does not do is do things quietly. He's very brash. And of course, Flash number 18 is written by Joshua Williamson with art by Neil Googe. I'm also recommending this week G Unbelievable Gwenpool number 13. I'm not really an Unbelievable Gwenpool fan, but you're going to be having that character fighting Arcade. And I've recommended Arcade books in the past because I like the idea that a villain, kind of like the Riddler, comes up with this elaborate scheme and trap and uses the environment around them to attack the actual character. And considering what this theme is, it's sort of like a roleplay fantasy, like medieval thing. That's really cool. That's up my alley and I think you should check it out. And of course, Gwenpool number 13 is written by Christopher Hastings with art by Guri Hiru. Uh, so yeah, go check them out. Alright, so as for my thoughts about Superman this week, it was awesome and crazy emotional and just super cool and I, it's just leading up to whatever is going on between Superman and this other Clark Kent who is really creepy and I don't care for him and I kind of look forward to finding out who he is so I can hate him even more because I really like uh, Superman with Lois Lane and their son John and the fact that that's all busted up right now, I'm just like, I, ah, uh, you guys gotta go take care of this. And I love that Lois is all on board and like, you know, it's like getting in between like a mama bear and her cub, except now with Superman. And I gotta tell you, their relationship, Superman and John's, made me think that how come we couldn't do that in the Silent Hill movie? We had to make it a girl. Anyway, um, on to my recommendations. Um, this week, um, from Image, uh, Green Valley number six is coming out. Uh, that's six of nine, so we're almost getting to the end there. Uh, I've really been digging this series. Again, it, it's um, a fantasy series written by Max Landis with art by Giuseppe Camincoli. I know I've busted on his art before, but in this book, it's great. It works. I don't know if that has to do with he really likes this book or just the team that's inking and, and coloring it with him, but I love it. It's awesome. It's great. Um, but this fantasy book has a, just like a crazy twist going on, and we're just starting to learn more about this, and I just can't wait to see how they're going to solve the problem that has been created by this and what has happened to a very specific character who I will not ruin for you. And then over in Marvel, um... Yeah, Marvel, I like you sometimes, because right now you got Man-Thing number one coming out, written by R.L. Stein. I was excited about this when we heard about it. I'm still excited for it. Goosebumps, man. The man wrote Goosebumps, and now he's writing for Man-Thing. It just fits. Man-Thing's his supernatural character from, like, the swamps. It's like, duh, why wouldn't we have him? It's drawn by Daniel Warren Johnson, and they are noting that there's a parental advisory on this one, which means it's probably for, like, slightly mature, and it's not going to be for kids, which is a good thing to know, because R.L. Stein has written for kids a lot. Um, so, you know, just be aware of that. But otherwise, this is a limited series. Uh, I believe it's five issues, so go pick it up. And if you want to see R.L. Stein write more, then you definitely got to go get it. Obviously, I am a fan of Superman number 18. I think it's a beautifully written issue. I love the art. Uh, I think that it's setting up a great jumping on point for new readers if they want to get into it because it sets up mystery, it introduces the characters very simply and very quickly and efficiently, and it gets to the action right away. And of course, that uh, that is no accident that I said that because my recommendation this week is Action Comics number 975, which is part two of this story, and it's written by Dan Jurgens, thought by Doug Mankey, and it's just part two. And I think in this issue, we are going to get the reveal of who the uh, dark Clark Kent is, the creepy Clark Kent is, and I'm very excited to find that out, of course. That indicates uh, some reference to classic 90s Superman, and I'm kind of a fan of those, even if it's an ironic way, so I'm excited to check that out. Um, I will throw that actually over there so you can check it out for yourself, and I don't have to say it out loud, but check it out. It's, uh, it's going to be really fun, and uh, I, I know it's going to wrap up very quickly and efficiently, so definitely go pick it up. So there you have it, everybody. Those are our thoughts on Superman number 18 and, of course, our recommendations of books that are coming out this week. Uh, 
I think we can all recommend Superman number 18, right? Yes. Go pick it up. Yeah, this is a great place to jump on. You might be a little confused, but it's awesome. I agree. I think it's a great refresher course for Superman and a great jumping on point as well. And the confusion helps. Yeah. It really gets you into it where you're like, what's happening? Yeah. 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 It's excitement as opposed to bafflement. So yes. we'll see you guys next week with another episode. I'm Sal. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. Thanks a lot for watching and keep on reading. And check out our review of Logan. That's right. Over there in the corner. Look at it. Click Look it. At it. We talk about stuff. Yeah. Oh, we talk about so much stuff. I know. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff and things. Yeah, you're going to want to know that stuff. Sometimes there's more things than stuff, but right? there's a predominantly a lot. And I think Ben tears up a lot.